Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I've got an idea for a fun and fast Code Blocks lesson. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to visit Tinkercad, click on Code Blocks, and we're going to create a new Code Block. When this screen appears, we're going to choose Create New Design. We're going to change the name of this, and it is going to be Strings. What we're going to do is we're going to make the strings for a hot air balloon, but we're going to do it in Code Blocks. The first step is to bring out a new object, and we're going to name this String because it is going to be one string. It is going to be made with a cylinder, friends, and I want you to change its properties from a radius of 10 to a radius of 0.5. Let's make the height 35 and leave the sides 20. When you hit play, you will see that this shows up below zero and it looks like the string that we're gonna use on our hot air balloon. Right now it's halfway below the ground, so we are going to use a move to raise it up. Since we used a height of 35, we are gonna raise it up 17.5, which is half of 35. When you hit play, you can see it is now at zero, zero. Friends, to make this string work on our balloon, we need to make it have a slant. So let's go to Modify, and we want to rotate. When you connect that rotation in, I want you to find a math, and we're going to put a 0, 0 out here, and we're going to change it to 15 degrees. Once you've got the 15 degrees, I need you to also switch it to Access Y. When you hit Play, you will see now it is sloped out just like that. Friends, we're gonna move to modify and we're gonna create a new object which is going to be called strings. When you type strings, make sure you add that S so that they're different. Friends, this is where the magic happens. We are gonna bring out a count with I. We're gonna take this and change it to six. Back to our shapes, we're gonna add a copy of that string. You can grab it from your data. When you put the string in there, we are now going to move it to a new location and then rotate it. Put your move, put your value of 10, grab your rotate. We're going to switch to Z. Friends, this rotation here, we're going to solve with math, which is the coolest part of the project. We're going to change it to times. I need you to put your variable I in there, and I want you to type 60 for the number of degrees. We're going to rotate each time and then drop it in the hole and then finally grab a zero zero. Friends, when you hit play, I'm gonna make these a different color so that you can tell which one is the original. You can see our original has now been rotated all the way around and we've got amazing strings and we wanna delete that original string. When you drop it in and hit play, bam, we have got sweet strings ready for use in our awesome hot air balloon. Friends, let's make this just a little smarter by choosing math and creating a variable. Let's name this little guy angle, A-N-G-L-E. And when we hit OK, let's set the number to, and let's set the number to 10. Now the reason we did this, friends, is because now we can bring this angle and drop it into that rotation. To get this to look like the number 10 automatically would have been difficult, but now when we hit play on our project, boom, it is just a little bit cooler for making a balloon. That angle's gonna be dandy. If you needed this project later for something different, let's say you needed it to be eight, when you hit play, it rebuilds it with the new angle. That's pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna tell you to reset it to 10. I'm gonna tell you to hit play again. Friends, if you want a different color, now is the time to pick it. Once you have that completed, you need to export it as a shape. I'm gonna name mine strings, and now it is ready to be used in any Tinkercad project. How cool is that? Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.